and show um, um, you can get into the field to win that game. Thank you enough. No, because we didn't win it. Um, I thought first time we played well, and I, uh, I thought we did better against 11. Um, the dynamic change with 10, you're playing against a block defence, which is always difficult, and I thought they did well at that. Um, and we couldn't find the moments, the key moments, lots of efforts, lots of effort, lots of shots and stuff, but not, not really killer moments, you know, and I think it's been something I've talked about endlessly since I've been at the club and before I've been at the club. Obviously, you've been at the club for some time now that remains upon the management concern for you is that you Still to this day, you can't find. Yeah, it's not a concern, it's a reality. It's been a reality for a long time here, you know, and, and developing people who score goals is the toughest challenge as a manager. So, if you can't develop individuals, you want to develop a team that can score goals. The challenge we've had this season is quite obvious to everyone. We were conceding far too many, and we had to change that. So, we've changed that, but now you've got to stay effective in the offensive side. So, we're scoring a bit e not easier, but f more freely at the beginning of the season, but we're conceding too many. So, that's been the challenge, quite obviously. Overall today, I'm disappointed in the result, quite obviously. Credit to them for defending so well, second half, you know, because they've, they've been struggling this season to keep clean sheets. Um, you know, and we've got to find killer moments more often than not, and we didn't. That's struggle for though. Is it something you, have, do you think you can find this solution? Well, it's been a long standing thing here. So, you know, how we find that, you know, most managers do it by a checkbook. We can't do that. So, therefore, the, con the development continues. And that's what, that's what we're looking to do remind players of their skill set, remind their strengths, and working towards them. Um, we don't know, we'll wait and see about the, the continued development of Youssef when he gets fit, but he's a bit away yet. Um, AB coming in as well, see what he's got to offer. I think that adds to the mix um, and trying to find different ways of operating. You know, we've tried four or five different ways of operating today to open up a, what is a packed box. That's difficult in itself though. I mean, that is difficult. You know, when, you, when a team set their stall out when they're so uh, defence-minded, which they had to, of course, or most do when they're 10 men, so credit to him on that side of things, but it's hard to break down a block, you know, when it's right in the goal or the 18-yard line. It's a hard thing to do, and we didn't. We certainly didn't do enough to break it down today. What do you think it says about this side for to come up against a team that hasn't got a point on the road, is 10 men for you know, full second half, and it probably still creates the best chances. You're picking up two big saves, one in the That's probably a bit of a concern. No, it's just a reality. That's the Premier League. You know, they're, they're no mugs these, you know what I mean? They're, they're looking for to change things. They operate in a different way second half, quite obviously. I'm well aware of the realities of the Premier League and the realities we have to work with here. So that's my challenge and that's what I continue to do, is challenge myself to look at the realities of the Premier League whilst looking at what we can do to be effective in it. So what would your message be to supporters? You might be concerned for what you've seen so far. Supporters have been concerned ever since I walked in the door. They were concerned before I walked in the door. They were concerned before that. And they've been concerned when I've been here. I've been talking endlessly about us trying to change the story. We haven't done that. We've had spells where we have done it and then we've dropped away. And even this spell, you know, we, we, we one loss in eight, but it doesn't mean anything because we're not winning. And I don't, I don't shy away from that. You want to win, you know, I want to play winning football and we're not winning as many as we should be winning, in my opinion. So the work just continues. How many different ways? How many different ways can we affect it? games? How many different players can we use? How many different styles can we use? You know, early season we're trying to affect it with the ball and we're opening up and then we conceded too many goals. So we have to tighten up. Then we go long and we're not as effective as we like. Then we play and we played a lot today, but we didn't really be effective. So it's searching. That's what managers do. We search for the right moments that can win your game to make you more effective. Whose responsibility is Of course it's mine. That's what managers do. I'm well aware of that. You know, mine, my staffs, the, the players, we're all combining with the responsibility, but it's mine inevitably. And I have no problem with that. No issue with it at all. Sure. Um, you said that it's, um, the team probably not okay. So have you been able to pinpoint what's changed this season from last season? Either? We weren't winning enough games last season until the last five or six. So, you know, the challenge has been, if you look at the, the recent years, this football club, it's never been winning loads of football matches. So you're talking about changing a whole sort of recent history. And I've been trying to do that. And the players have been trying that, my staff as well. Going through some tough challenges along the way. We all know about them. This season, we were hoping to start better. We didn't. Now we've got to correct it and keep making moves forwards. You know, and that's the thing. We're, we're constantly challenged. Can we make the, you know, the team move forwards? Can we develop these players who are coming in with, with not as much Premier League experience? Can we use the ones with experience to better effect? And we're just constantly trying to find the right mixture. And that's what you do. That's what, that's what our job is. That's my responsibility, finding the right mixture that can win more games. The, the team is used to 
kind of less calls from the opposition. So I just wondered, what did you have to change at half time? How often do you work on We had more of the ball at West Ham. Um, we had, which in a way game is, is indifferent for us. You know, it's not always the case. We had more of the ball today. When you've got more of the ball, it's how quick your tempo is, how quickly you can affect the opposition. You know, you know, can you find the key moments? Usually, clever players in the front third find the key moments. If you can't find that, can you cross it, can you head it, and all them basics. I think Beto has a big chance. I think another one's a good block, to be fair, from them. I think Illy has a chance on the back stick. Dwight has a couple of breakaway moments. They're all things that count in a football match, you know, and if they go in, it changes it. But today, I, I feel, because I don't want to change my rules, We've had less chances, but more effective chances and not taken them. So they've had lots of chances, but I didn't think there was too many effective, apart from the ones I've just mentioned. There weren't too many where you went, oh, that's a golden chance. So that's that, you know, that's something that we have done recently and not taken chances, whereas today I don't think we found them true chances. But I must say, I thought, I thought the first half, I thought we were very good. I thought we, we dominated most of it. They're a team that do come out of the blocks quick. Everyone knows that. They're searching a way to try and change it themselves. And I thought the first half was a really decent performance. Second half, it was flat and it just lost that edge and that moment of quality that is so important. Then the team get nervous, the stadium gets nervous, which we've experienced before. And I spoke to the players about the growth of them as well. That's the demand here. I know it, they know it. And it's handling that and then move, still playing with the freedom to go and open teams up. And it was difficult today. And after today, might that mean that you need to work more on how to attack against We've been working endlessly since I've been here to our attack better. It's simple as that. Like I said, you know, I've been at a club like this previously where it's not about the checkbook. We have to constantly work with the players to try and develop players to have more moments, more talent in the front third. I've told you before, Arsene Wenger pulled me once and he said, Sean, he said, tell your chairman this, you do the back, the sides in the middle, he does the box. That was Arsene Wenger. He's a pretty handy fellow when it comes to developing and winning. So, you know, there has to be a truth in the pattern of the club. But that being said, I think we have got very good players here and it's my responsibility to make them better or if I can't make them better, make them as a unit win. I'm absolutely clear and clar clarified that moment. It's my responsibility and I have no problem with it. You know what I'm seeing at least is correcting what a pattern which started very poorly for us this season. You know, no one wants to lose four on the trot and concede as many goals. So we had to correct that side of things. They may say we're not doing that bit, we're not doing that bit, so we have to correct that bit first. And then when we corrected that bit, we now have to correct that bit. That's the story of this club and it's the story of my time here. Getting them two things aligned. When we do, I think we're a very effective unit. We all know that, we've seen the results we can produce. When we don't, then it becomes a tough challenge overall. Today it's just disappointing for me because I thought we were playing really well first half and second half we didn't get to grips with it. It was a bit flat, it was a bit slow, the tempo softened. And credit to them as well. Block defence is hard to play against. I thought they did it very well. I always think we can get a goal, but that's because I'm a manager and that's because I'm, I'm an optimist. You can't be a manager if you're not an optimist, trust me. Yeah, I thought first half particularly, I thought he played very well. Second half, I found it a little bit more tricky, you know, not just in the team, as you saw. It was just the tempo of it and the flatness of it. We couldn't find that, that bit of fizz and that bit of a moment. The odd set piece, the odd moment, like I say, Beto has a header and I think he has a chance they get a good block on. But not really them true moments, not them killer moments. No, we have a good director there. Everyone, if they direct whoever they want to direct to that. The fact is, they're expecting here that we win. I'm expecting we win. I've got no problem with that. I've never questioned the fans since I've been here and I won't be questioning the fans. It's our responsibility and mine to make sure we do better than we did today. Just a get some football. That'll be his start point um, uh, on Monday. So, Sean, before, in the week, you said that no evidence to suggest him dying to play in the middle. Part time, you chose to have a look at him. What was the thinking behind it? Well, it was the end of the first half, actually, about seven or eight minutes to go. And I just thought, well, because we, we, we've looked at him in training, we've looked at him in ways. You know, could he affect it? Could he not? signs but I don't I'm still not sure he's a true Premier League um, number 10 uh, Dwight's not either but I think they're two skillful quality players who if we can get them in them right slots they might produce something so yeah again just working it different ways to try and open up the opposition and change the feel of the performance Anybody else? Cheers everyone Thank you. Thank you. Hey mate you alright?